All right, folks, I got a rough country dual front steering stabilizer, damper, whatever. Some people call them damper. I call it a stabilizer. So I'm going to install this, start on it tonight, probably be tomorrow before I can finish it. And, uh, but yeah, it's not going to be a how-to video because I just don't do those unless it's something I think that people's having trouble with like I did on that Kia Soul about the alternator. But uh, it's done pretty good, over 2,000 views. Last time I seen it, maybe more than that. I don't never look at it. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start on this. I don't know if I finish it because it's Friday evening late and I'm about ready to stop for tonight. So, all right. Well, damn. You would think it had rough country written on it somewhere, but it don't. Wow. Get out of there. Let's see what this one is. I'm trying to do this with one hand and hold the camera or the phone. Yeah. I know some of y'all going to talk shit about my camera and wait going everywhere. Because I do the same thing to other people. But yeah. No, uh, man, no sticker. You pay that kind of money on, get out of here. What that? They don't give you no shots with decals on. Let's see. What's in here? What's in here? My u boat. That direction. I'm sorry about the count. Look, look. Got stickers on pictures. Oh, oh. oh I'll be damn. I have to put them on myself. I can do that. All right, folks. I can't hold this phone and uh, work at the same time, so I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, I got the uh, dual steering stabilizer put on, and uh, looks pretty good. Want nothing to it. That's the reason I won't want to do no how to, to be sure you can figure out how to put clamps on and get it wheel straight and get everything even. So uh, that's that's what it is. Ain't much to it. I do have to put a locking nut on that side right there of the cross tube there. Like that side is. And actually I got, see that, there's a nut right there that keeps it from turning. So I need to get one clamp to go there and one locking nut to go on that side. That side's missing the locking nut. That's got to be done before I start driving it, which I got, I don't know, probably a couple more months doing piddly stuff before I could start driving. But, uh, ain't doing much today. Got a lot going on. Got some people coming. We're going to grill out, I guess. But, uh, I guess I'm a Fixing to mount the fuel tank up under it. Get that mounted and pour some gas in it. Hopefully it don't leak. I don't think it will. And I may just go ahead and put some transmission fluid in it so I can crank it. I don't know if I get that much done today, but I'm gonna work on it. So. But that's what I'm up to. Getting, uh, I need to redo my brake lines. 
I have, I think I have them. I just haven't re redid it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of shady looking right there. Which I have seen a whole lot worse things on the highway. So. All right, folks. Steering stabilizers on. I did order rear shocks for it also from Rough Country. But uh, I got to cut one of the brackets off and turn it around. Yeah, that bracket has to be cut and turned around like that side is. And I have to order some mounts to weld on the top for the top of the shocks. But, all right, folks, I'll see y'all on the next one.